Yo, we'll make a right over here. Make a right right here? Yep. I just missed it. That's okay. I'm still gonna go. Go, yeah! Oh, my kind of man. Oh, sorry. Yay! Sorry. Is the CEO of Havelina, which is an incredibly hot, fast growing agency. Right. They work with small businesses, political campaigns, nonprofits, and are just kicking ass. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. When I think about you and, um, and other women that I know that are really just going for it and, and doing the hard stuff with grace, I just Oh, this like this this really fills my bucket. I just ordered the lift. In fact, I've stopped using Uber because they treat women like shit. So uh, we're gonna take our lift and head to our next place. First out of McKinley. Oh. Okay, perfect. Awesome. So we're at the Propel Her event launched by my friend Heidi Janenga, co-founder of WebPT a venture-backed software company in Phoenix. She's even got the little... Oh my god, yeah. I'm showing. On. I'm showing pics of the baby. My ovaries hurt. Ah! Like, just looking at this. <laughs> it actually started three years ago, um, based on the sort of lean-in book, right, to have the lean-in circles. And um, our first year, what we did was we had everybody read the book. And then we had these, you know, um, anybody who wanted to be a part of the group had to be a part, you know, reading the book. And so we basically took a topic out of the book and we talked about that each week or each month, I should say. It was a monthly thing. Um, and we invited men and women because we wanted to make sure that, you know, all voices were heard. You know, the idea now is to bring in badass women like yourselves and to be able to tell your story because everybody's story is unique. It feels like, or the facts are, that there are a limited number of seats for women at the top. There are a limited number of seats. Who knows what that number is, but there's a sort of like read between the lines, this sort of sense, well, there can only be two. Or there can only there can never be half. It's only you know one or two or three. And so what can I do to be one of those? And so it brings in some of that competition, I think. And so we come to it from a place of scarcity rather than abundance. There is enough room for all of us to lead. I feel like that is representative of, of a lot of the talks I do or the people that I come to um, connect with. It's like they're sitting there and they want to move ahead. They want to, they want to ask for the raise. They want to go for the bigger job or they want to frankly leave their job. And they're just like, they're just in safety mode and they're scared and they are not sure what the next step is. And so they do nothing. And so I love to talk to people who may be in that place and share through maybe how I try to work through my own fears and uh, and share that and hopefully that that inspires them to take a step right so I'm wondering who within that group is actually going to take the step today to share their goals and their dreams what they want to do when they grow up we're getting ready to go into Galvanize. It is a new co-working space here in Phoenix. It used to be a produce, um, a produce building, and they've completely changed it. It was a warehouse before, and they also do education. Um, they take students, people that want to learn how to develop um, code, um, who are just looking to get into technology. This is where they can come to learn. And a bunch of my friends and one of my investments is moving into the space. So I'm pumped. I've heard a lot about it and haven't been yet. So we'll head in. Okay. Diana! Hey girl! Hello! Hello. Hey. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, good, good to see, see you. Here. Welcome to Galvanize. But I can't believe how amazing this space is. Just from the outside. We are so pleased with it. We've been open one month as of yesterday and it's really come along. cafe but it's also designed to be a collaborative space so yeah. we anticipate our members coming over here and we we want the public to come in as well hey there hi we got broken up with our first driver really i don't know what happened but then here we are 
And we got you, it was meant to be. Yes, it was. Or did you stick the words out of my mouth? <laughs> <laughs>